the tiny brain of this zebra finch may help scientists answer questions on how people form words to talk. Like humans, songbirds learn to vocalize by imitation. We're able to not only to study the mechanisms of how vocal learning uh, works in these songbirds, but translate those findings to humans. And the reason why is because we discovered that songbirds and humans have what we call convergent brain pathways and genes that are specialized in them that you don't find in things like chicken. Researchers from Rockefeller University in New York are using laser capture microscopy, a method of isolating cells from microscopic regions of tissues and cells, to get an in-depth look at the songbird's brains. Those images are helping them understand how signals from the bird's brains are similar to the process humans use when learning to talk. We find uh, stuttering in songbirds. We can induce a Parkinson-like condition in them that causes stuttering. And uh, then we can use that to figure out how to repair and then try to induce that in a brain like a, of humans and see if we can repair those circuits. We're also trying to figure out ways to engineer brain circuits in a species that doesn't have that ability to see if we can in induce it or even enhance it. And if that works, we can actually try to translate that to humans as well. Jarvis says it will take years before the findings may be used to treat human speech impediments. I've had this uh, hypothesis for the last 10 years of how to engineer these brain circuits and predict what kind of genes we would find that are specialized in the brain of humans and songbirds. It took us, let's say, five to seven years to actually identify those genes. And I think it's going to take us another five to seven years to actually figure out how to manipulate them. Songbirds could provide a window to the origins of speech disorders caused by autism, strokes, and Parkinson's disease. Deborah Block, VOA News.